my name is Dan Johnson and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about those pesky collection box sets. This video is all about why I get annoyed with these collection box sets. Now I love them and I think they're amazing and the quality of artwork and all of that is completely brilliant. I really don't need to go into why they're amazing, I'm sure that you know. But I tend to gloss over the faults almost with them. So I thought today I would talk about why the box sets annoy me. The first reason is the hiked prices. Now, I don't have a great deal of money, right? And collection box sets can reach up to hundreds of pounds on eBay. And uh, I don't think I need to talk about the Series 9 Steelbook. If I was to ever win Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, then the first thing is that I would spend money on in a very sad way would be the collection box sets that I don't have and the Series 9 Steelbook. If you think that this video is all about like me being a bit of a man baby, complaining about how these collection boxes annoy me because I can't get that, my hands on them, and that I'm sort of pointing out the faults of the collection box sets in order to make people feel less happy about their collection, and I'm just jealous because I've only got four. I can't even put a fifth one there to make it look even. So recently, I created like a challenge for myself. <laughs> You know, which sounds ridiculous, but my challenge is to try and buy the box sets that I don't have, which is season 19, 10, and 18, buy them, and get them each for under 60 quid. Is it possible? Well, according to my eBay didn't win tab, uh, no, it's not possible at all. How am I supposed to compete with someone that is willing to spend hundreds of pounds on one box set? And spending hundreds of pounds on one box set in the middle of a global, economically crushing pandemic. I get a lot of comments about things such as re-releases and hoping that uh, there are re-releases at some point, and I think the same, even for the ones that I currently own. Because why the hell shouldn't more people have the box sets? And to be honest, there's been a second edition of the Season 12 one. If that didn't exist, I wouldn't have the Season 12 one. And yet eBay prices are still inflated for the thing, you can get it for about £80. I mean, it's like quite common amongst the other collection box sets. You know, you see a lot of season 12s, but they're still going for like a hiked price. My next issue is the slow release schedule. Now, obviously, because it's a pandemic and everything, the release schedule at the minute doesn't really exist, and I think it's been thrown out the window. I have to get the phone out because I can't remember simple numbers. So there's 26 seasons of Doctor Who, obviously. Um, and that is saying that they do collection box sets for all of the seasons. We can talk about that later. But if they do 26 seasons, currently there are 19 left. So the ones that are taken are season 10, season 12, season 14, season 18, season 19, season 23, season 26. At two a year, it is going to take 10 years. I will be 28. And the issue with this, and this calls back to my previous complaint, is that if I lack some, I won't have the full 26, and that will be really annoying. If it's annoying now, when I have the majority, it's going to be even more annoying when I have like one or two sticking out. And God forbid, because many people have experienced this with season 14, one uh, website basically crashed almost, and it started taking orders for items that they didn't actually have, and then had to email the people that bought them thinking that they've secured themselves a box set and I think this was like a long time after that you're not getting the box set you pre-ordered and uh, you're not really there's really nothing we can do about it so you know you're gonna have to just find it somewhere else I mean it's not like every single website is sold out and that of course is that if they actually do 26 they might not ever get to that point there is a pattern currently emerging when they kind of alternate doctors but they're only doing doctors that are in colour so that means that Trout and William Hartnell might not ever get their box sets. I mean there's something going on there and there's a reason that they're holding back. Maybe it's because the thing wouldn't translate to Blu-ray maybe they've got plans something like that would be lovely to you know actually say that they're actually going to release the 26 because if they're not um, the collection's really lacking. It would be really annoying if they don't do one or two at some point. Let's hope that they do and with animations and stuff like that coming through. They might do them, but like later once they've finished recreating all the old episodes. Who's to say that one day these collection box sets won't have the same fate as these DVDs where the thing has slightly changed over time, colorization, the way that it's formatted, all of that might change. If you're a completionist like me and you've completed most LEGO games up to 100%, um, you're gonna have a real issue if one of those collection box sets is missing. I did a video once when I talked about the infuriating marketing of Doctor Who products, and I talked about how, you know, if you slap limited edition on everything, um, 
is anything really a limited edition. So you should definitely check out that video, it was a very good video. These products are batch built, which means that they are made like to a certain number. So I suppose by that means they are limited edition because you know, once this set is gone, it's gone. And even though you have the idea of second edition it's still, you know, possible, who's to say that it actually happens? So when it comes to these collection box sets, I think that maybe there might have been a small amount of intentionally making them a limited edition to create more pre-orders, more initial sales, basically a bit more buzz, a bit more like rarity to the items so that you feel like you have something that is really worth something. Like these, these do feel like they're really worth the money that you pay for them. Do these things really need to be limited edition? Do people need to almost fight for them? to get them, you know, bid over each other, get beaten by the last second by two pence, losing bids on eBay by 50p. <sighs> and in the last second, I will never forgive that person, whoever they are. They've made them intentionally limited edition so that it creates the buzz and it creates all of that. And you know, these items are gorgeous and really they should be given to lots of fans. Obviously they have to buy them, they don't get given them. But, you know, they, they should really be owned by lots of Doctor Who fans, and yet, you know, they're not. And I think that's a real shame, and I think that they've done that based on the basis of, you know, the initial sales and all of that, and a bit of greed as well. I mean, it's a silly idea, because you're not getting the money, you're paying the regular, you know, like, you're getting given the regular amount, the 40 quid, but, or the 45 quid now, but actually then, the eBay people who were selling it for double the price are getting the money. I don't know why this is already a thing, but for some reason, people are selling the box sets for season 8, they're not out yet, you're not the stock taker, you know, you don't get to, you know, pre-order them with a... I mean, I'd call myself very patient, and I'm going to be patient with these collection box sets in order to get the ones I don't have. And if you want to see my updates, I'm trying to find these things, plus other Doctor Who items, then you should just check out my Twitter and my Instagram. This video was like a lot of me just venting about collection box sets and me talking about their negatives and the things that really get on my nerves that I tend to ignore. I like to think that these are all sitting in the backs of minds of lots of fans of these things. And I'm not really alone because it'd be kind of awkward if I was. At the end of the day, it comes down to availability and things like that that really annoy me about this set. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give a like. Subscribe if you are new. I'm a little bit concerned about my collection box that's falling down. I'm pretty sure they're stable, but I, I don't normally put them up like that. So I'm a bit worried. So I'm going to take them down immediately. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and uh, I shall see you soon.